But my take on it has changed over the years. Um, you know, you all these are RBSD guys like, oh, we spar, we spar, you know, and, and all these other people too do it as well. But then you actually see them sparring and it's, my kids class spars hard. So does that tick that box of sparring or pressure testing? No, it doesn't in my opinion. So for you to do self-defense sparring, to me, it needs to be a milling derivative. So that means short duration, all out of salt. Not, um, you know, the, the boxing and kickboxing sparring, MMA sparring helps, absolutely. I'm not saying it doesn't. But if you want to make it more like an actual encounter, it's got to be something like milling. You know, it changes the game. You have a look when you get a high profile martial, art, martial artist and put him in milling, um, the martial arts tend to disappear. So that needs to be a part of it. That's the stuff that I think that, you know, when I see that, I go, yeah, cool. Like you guys are on the right track.